Hey guys, this is going to be a video on spring conifer foliage. The first one we're going to go over is this dwarf Alberta spruce. I used to have it in the ground in direct sunlight, but it doesn't like it. Here in zone 8A, it gets way too hot, but I had it in a container. It was a centerpiece for winter, if you saw my last video. And it actually does pretty good in the shade in zone 8A. Last three weeks we've almost been around 95 degrees, so it's been hotter than normal for this time of the year. And we haven't had a break, no rain, for like almost three weeks. And today happened to be a pretty nice day, uh, around mid-60s, mid-70s max. So this is a dwarf brush, but like I said, you see the new foliage, looks real light green. It's a little bit prickly. Um, you definitely cannot have it in the sun, but it does, it's pretty nice. And it does, I mean, as long as you keep it, you know, this one I've noticed that you, you kind of have to keep it, um, don't let it dry. And if you do, not for long. And uh, this is a Dragon Prince Cryptomeria. This is a new foliage. You can tell it's, this kind of looks like a fake plant almost to the touch. And But if you see all the new foliage, you can see that the summer was really rough. I mean, not, not even summer, spring. And it got sunburned. So uh, luckily, like I said, I also have it in a container. So it's very easy to move to a shaded area. But today's a perfect day to have it out, you know, in direct sun. But it's been really rough. It will recover. Um, I'm not too worried about it. But if I would have left it there any longer, it would have definitely got a lot more burnt. But look how nice. This is a Dragon Prince Cryptomeria. Real nice. Real soft to the touch. This is the emerald green arborvitae. You could also see the, the new foliage is a lot lighter. This is also a really soft tree. Really soft tree. Unfortunately, um, it struggles here in zone 8A. It gets way too hot. But this one, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, this one remains in the shade for the most part of the day. So um, it's a very nice Christmas like shape. Um, when I bought it, it was probably about three feet, and it's grown. Uh, this is the third year. This is actually the fourth year, so it hasn't grown much, but I feel like it's taken off now. This is a, here is a dwarf mugo pine. So far, this has been a very reliable tree. The little dwarf tree, if you could even call it a tree. It's about a foot by 10 inches tall. The new foliage has as you know is this right here you can barely tell but um it's very reliable it's it's i haven't had to do anything with it other than water it maybe once or twice a week but i really like it it's a little prickly you know but it's um it's tolerable it's not like a juniper so that's a dwarf mugle pine super uh recommend that one for zone 8a or to put in a container so that's that that's dwarf mugle pine. this right here is a blue point juniper it looks like it's struggling a little bit, but I think it's just coming out of the winter. But you can also see that it, it does, you know, the new foliage is growing. Um, it does have some yellowing, so I'm a little bit concerned, but they're pretty hardy in this area. And it also is a, definitely, it's a conifer obviously, but it's a Christmas tree shape. And um, it's grown about twice its size in, in a year, I would say. And then this right here is also another juniper. This is a Youngston juniper, Youngstown juniper. It's just coming out of the winter, so it has some, you know, dead areas. But this one is not as spiky as the blue point, but it's still, it'll still get you. And then this is... It's called Paul Gold Cypress. It's definitely struggling here in the in Zone 8A. I have this one in direct sunlight. Lately, like I said, it's been three weeks where it's basically been burning around 90 to 95 degrees with no rain. And I've been watering um, even these conifers once every two days or so. But it's definitely struggling. It struggled last year. I might have to move it this year, but you know, I, obviously I got some fails. I'm, I'm learning as I go. But you do see the new foliage 
you know it's a little bit greener it's a uh, soft it's supposed to be yellowish so we'll see and then here I have the blue atlas cedar Hortzman and I love this tree it's I, I call it the, the best tree in the yard for me at least you see the new foliage is starting to come out it's a lot lighter and it's really soft the old foliage are, are spiky but nothing like like a blue nothing like a blue point juniper these are much more softer and you see all these little the new foliage coming out it's really nice looking this is it's about six and a half feet tall now probably but it's really really nice the foliage on this is striking especially I'm gonna say probably in, in another probably another two weeks or so and you can see all of them coming out some of the old foliage is being pushed out also but some of the old leaves are are falling look at that so smooth so soft I always like to see new growth but it's probably been stunned a little bit by this heat this kind of a heat wave you could even say during these last uh, three weeks almost so if you watch my older videos you know that I had nothing but conifers in this little area here there used to be a baby blue spruce but it died Paul Gold Cypress is struggling but it's there and then you have Youngstown Juniper Blue Point Juniper and then the Blue Atlas Cedar Hortzman the Mugo Pine still doing okay but as they died I've been replacing them with a uh, some other plants that could really the, the cold is not the issue here more than anything it's the, the heat but uh, I leave you all with this view of, uh, of my backyard anyway until next time